In this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and use the email feature inside of Brightspace. So up in the upper right hand corner, you have what they call the mini nav bar. And the mini nav bar has a, um, it looks like an envelope, and this is where you're going to find um, messages and email. So um, the orange dot on the envelope means that there's something new in your mailbox. So if you click on that, and then you're going to click on email. Okay, now because I was in a course when I brought this up, it's showing the filtering by the course. I actually want to make sure that it's always set to all messages. And this way I can see all the messages that have been sent to this particular um, person. All right, so to look at a message, you can see the message down below. You can um, also see that I'm in my inbox over on the left hand side. If I click on the actual text, um, the subject of the message, it will open up the message for me. And when I open a message, I can reply, reply to all or forward it. Um, I can go in and mark it as unread if I want to. I can print it. Um, and then I can change um, what course it goes with if I want to as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close that. Okay. Um, now to go in and compose, you're going to go up and hit the compose button at the top. Okay. And what you're going to do is in front of the box where you would type in the email address, if you're going to send out an email to an outside email address, you can, if you know the email address, you can copy and paste it in or type it in. Just remember, if you do send an email outside of um, NCCC's email system inside of Brightspace, the person can receive your emails, but they cannot reply to it because there's no way for it to send it back through Brightspace. So just going to keep that in mind. It's only going to be an outgoing message. Okay. In the two box, you're going to click right on two. And in that, I can go in and I can do a search for people. Okay, and I'm just going to go in and say that um, I'm going to search for one of the professors. Okay, now because this student doesn't have access to that particular person, it's not going to find out. But normally it would go in and list out anybody with that last name. All right, so I need to use somebody that's in the course. So I'm going to put in test. It's part of one of the names of the students in the class. It's telling me that it found three people. And what I'm going to do is go in and, and select one of those names and hit Add Recipients. Okay, and that's going to add it to the name at the top. Now, one of the things you'll notice in the emails in Brightspace, they are actually just assigned email addresses inside the system. Um, when somebody gets this email, if it's in Brightspace and they're reading it in Brightspace, they can reply to it. If the email is going out to either the college um, Outlook accounts, the T Wolves accounts, or an outside source, they cannot respond to that email. And that's why this message at the bottom here is added to every single message that goes out or email that goes out through Entrip, okay, through the Brightspace right now. So um, you don't want to take that out, but you can create your subject. You can go in and add your text to your body of your email. You also have the option down here to add attachments if you want to. Um, you can go in and add images. You can add links. If you just copy and paste the link in here, it will automatically create a hyperlink that will automatically be active. Okay. And if you're not ready to say, um, send it, you can do save for draft or you can go ahead and hit the send option. So I'm just going to go in and say, um, and let me get rid of that. Okay. And then Okay, and then you can put a closing in there, and I'm going to go ahead and hit send. Okay, you want to make sure you see this sent um, successfully message to let you know. If you have file attachments, it, it might take a little bit longer to send it. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, you want to make sure that it finishes the send. 
okay? Um, if you're looking at a class list and you wanted to send out an email to everybody in the class, you can do that as well. Um, I would do it through the, um, the um, roster if you're the faculty member, okay? Um, you can move things to the trash, so once I've read something, I can go ahead and tell it to move it to the trash to get it out of my um, inbox. You can also check and see that I just sent that message out, so I can go in and check to see what went out from Brightspace. Okay, and then if you save something to drafts, you can go back and grab it and resend it. Okay, and if you want to, you can actually check out your trash, and I think it will hold it for 30 days and then get rid of it. Okay, and then you do have the option of the address book. So this is everybody that's in the class. I can go in and select several people and then send out an email out to um, all those people. When I do something like this, it's going to automatically set them up as a um, in the two box. Now, if you're doing it through the roster or if you're doing it through the gradebook, it will automatically blind CC all the people that you're sending it to. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. Okay, so that's how you can go in, check your mailboxes inside of Brightspace. You can compose a message. You can go in and do a search for somebody in the system. Depending on what your role is in the system will depend on who you can actually search for within the system. Okay, so that's how you can use the email feature in Brightspace.